With Superphone, you can customize your automated responses. Whether these responses are general, keywords such as hashtags or emojis, or whether they're regular expression responses, Superphone allows you to customize them to connect directly with your audience. This is the Superphone Academy. Click on your name and icon in the top right corner to reveal a drop down menu. From this drop down menu, click on Settings. Scroll down and click on the section labeled Automated Responses. In the first text box labeled First Contact, type in the desired message you wish an unknown number to receive the very first time they text or call your number. This message sends out two minutes after an unknown number calls or texts in for the first time. The user will never receive it again, even if they do not add themselves to your phone. Be sure to add the merge field form in your message to include your form link in the text. This is how an unknown user becomes a contact and adds themselves to your phone. To add an image or other media to your message, click on the paperclip icon in the bottom right corner of the text box. To add an emoji to your message, click on the emoji icon in the bottom right hand corner of the text box. Now let's continue. Once complete, to see preview or test your message, click on the preview button in the bottom left corner of the text box. To send a test message after clicking on the preview button, click on the button labeled send test at the bottom of the pop-up preview and enter the name or number of the contact you would like to send this test message to. To send your V-Card along with this message, select the circle labeled V-Card Send. To finalize this message, select the circle labeled Enabled under the text box and then click the Save button right below it. In the second text box labeled Contact Info Reminder, type in the desired message you wish an unknown number to receive if they have not added their info to your contact form 30 minutes after the first contact auto response was sent. This message does not repeat and only goes out once if an unknown number has not added their info to your contact form 30 minutes after the first contact auto response was sent. Be sure to add the merge field form once again in your message to link your contact form so an unknown number can be reminded to become a contact by adding their information to your phone. To add an image or other media to your message, once again, click on the paperclip icon in the bottom right corner of the text box. To add an emoji to your message, once again, click on the emoji icon in the bottom right hand corner of the text box. Let's keep going. Once complete, to see, preview, or test your message, click on the preview button in the bottom left corner of the text box. To send a test message after clicking on the preview button, click on the button labeled Send Test at the bottom of the pop-up preview and enter the name or number of the contact you would like to send this test message to. To finalize this message, select the circle labeled Enabled under the text box and then click the Save button right below it. In the third text box below labeled New Assigned Number, type in the desired message you wish a contact to receive from your new number if they are assigned a new number in your phone. The only way for this auto response to fire is if you manually change the number assigned to a contact in your phone. Once a contact is assigned a number, they will never be automatically reassigned a new one. This message cannot be disabled. To add an image or other media to your message, click on the paperclip icon in the bottom right corner of the text box. To add an emoji to your message, click on the emoji icon in the bottom right hand corner of your text box. Once complete, to see, preview, or test your message, click on the preview button in the bottom left corner of the text box. To send a test message after clicking on the preview button, 
Click on the button labeled Send Test at the bottom of the pop-up preview and enter the name or number of the contact you would like to send this test message to. To send your V-Card along with this message, select the circle labeled V-Card Send. To finalize this message, click the Save button right below the text box. In the fourth text box labeled New Assigned Unknown Contact, type in the desired message you wish an unknown number to receive from your new number if they are assigned a new number in your phone. The only way for this auto response to fire is if an unknown number texts or calls your default number and there are no available routes on the default number. Each number can hold 500 people. To learn more about routing, check the link in the description below that's entitled, check out our article on multiple phone numbers and routing here. This message cannot be disabled. To add an image or other media to your message, click on the paperclip icon in the bottom right corner of the text box. To add an emoji to your message, click on the emoji icon in the bottom right hand corner of the text box. Be sure to add the merge field form in your message to link your contact form so an unknown number can become a contact by adding their information to your contact form. Once complete, to see preview or test your message, click on the preview button in the bottom left corner of the text box. To send a test message after clicking on the preview button, click on the button labeled Send Test at the bottom of the pop-up preview and enter the name or number of the contact you would like to send this test message to. To finalize this message, click the Save button right below the text box. See how easy that was? Now you know how to set up automated responses. For additional support, visit support.superphone.io for more information.